Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop news update. And this week we have a ton of Funko news videos for you. Yesterday we did the Spider-Man No Way Home one, which I maybe should have done this one first first because this news kind of came out first but i was so excited about the no way home stuff i just want to jump in and i cranked out a video for you guys about that and thank you so much for all the support on that video and any of you guys who might be new subscribers welcome to the channel if you haven't subscribed already there's that button right down below hit that subscribe button but for today what we're actually going to be talking about is the next convention that funko has confirmed that they're going to have a presence at and that's going to be Brazil Comic Con, otherwise known as CXP 2022. This is a huge event that happens in Brazil every year. All of the big franchises will have a presence at it. Marvel, DC, I think in the past like Harry Potter has gone there. So there's going to be a, a lot of anime down there as well. So there's going to be a ton of different franchises that you're probably going to hear some stuff about. I think last year's uh, Brazil Comic Con... I think Spider-Man premiered a trailer there. It was either the first or the second trailer for No Way Home actually premiered there. So it's a pretty big event for some pretty high profile stuff. So we could be seeing some great things from there as far as like for movies and TV that is going to be upcoming. But we're also going to be getting some new stuff when it comes to Funko. And just like we see from the other convention that Funko has normally had a presence at like WonderCon or Emerald City Comic Con, New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con D23. Star Wars Celebration, on and on and on, all of these different events, they're always going to have a booth at the event along with an online release. Now, a lot of you guys out there might not be in Brazil or be able to go to Brazil, so a lot of us are going to be relying on the online drop. So we'll give you a little bit of details about what you can expect from the event, details about stickers, and of course, what figures are going to be released. So CCXP 2022 will be taking place in Brazil from December 1st to December 4th. And similar to what they did for WonderCon this year, they're going to be doing Freddy's Beach Bash. So anyone with a badge should be attending the con. will of course be able to stop by the Funko booth and go ahead and pick up a lot of these exclusives with the exclusive sticker on it. So as we've seen in the past, you actually have to be at the con to get the exclusive sticker similar to what we saw with star wars celebration near comic-con san diego comic-con they got back to that this year we actually have to go to the con to get the sticker and then everybody else that does the online drop or gets it through shared retailers is going to have that shared sticker and they have given us our first look at what the actual con sticker is going to look like it is right here it just says ccxp 2022 limited edition is a pretty cool sticker looks a little bit different than their normal con sticker which is nice but then they also have the actual winter convention shared sticker which we have right here we have seen that before popping up on different figures that have been releasing earlier some of them that we will be looking at today when we go down the list of figures but as far as these two i actually think the winter convention one does look pretty nice I know some people out there might be a little bit upset that they're not going to be able to get the actual con sticker since it's an international one. But when you think of all the people from around the world that collect Funko, they're never able to get the con sticker because all the events are actually here in the US. So I know some of you guys that might be in the UK, you're never going to be able to get con sticker pops unless you actually travel to the States. So I don't mind us having to, you know, just go with the regular shared ones. But that might mean that these pops that have the actual con sticker might be even more valuable. So as far as when these figures are going to be available for the public to purchase online, they did say it is going to be on Friday, December 2nd. They did not say an actual time frame, but normally it's going to be 7 a.m. Pacific time or might be, you know, that noon time frame Pacific time. Sometimes they flop back and forth for these cons. But I'm going to guess something like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Pacific time for the drop. So we'll stay tuned for that for what the actual time will be. I'm sure Funko will let us know in the coming days or up to this next week when these figures are going to exactly go live on Funko.com. But of course, you can also get them on the different shared retailer sites as well. Now let's dive in and take a look at all the different figures that are going to be available during Brazil Comic Con. 
And the first one is actually a figure that we have seen starting to hit some Walmarts across the country. It is this Joker comic book cover for Back in Town. And this one is pretty cool. We've seen it here with the Winter Convention sticker. I do really like this one as well, especially the comic book art in the background with Joker holding the card that has Batman on it and then the actual figure of him standing behind it holding the card as well. That does look really nice. I've not been liking a lot of the comic book covers, but this one is definitely a cool one. And the next one sticking with DC is going to be Raven from the Justice League. She's actually a Teen Titan, but she's actually gonna be a part of the Justice League wave, which is pretty interesting here. They've been doing just the new DC wave and all of them have been under Justice League, including the new Target exclusive ones. This one definitely looks great. I love how her cape kind of looks like wings as well. It looks like she is using a little bit of her powers where she has uh, you know, the pink circles going around her wrist there. I think that looks really nice. And another DC one we have is actually Hush, from Batman. This it looks super cool. Hush is one of the Batman villains and this one looks super super sick with the way that he has the bandages around his head and then kind of like that copycat Batman suit on. That looks really really cool. And then going on to another DC one. This one is actually Black Adam from the new Black Adam movie. Black Adam himself with some powers. That one actually looks pretty nice. I like the suit, that looks super clean. And then he has a little bit of like the electricity powers coming around his hand as well. I wish maybe he was in a little bit of, more, of a more dynamic pose, but it does look pretty cool, especially with the hood on. And then our last DC figure, man, DC is just taking over this convention, but it's actually our first soda that we see today. And this is Hawkman from Black Adam. I really enjoyed Hawkman in the Black Adam movie. And now we have the soda for him with the common being him with this full costume on, including the helmet. And the chase is a metallic version with the helmet off. So that looks pretty nice. You probably could have swapped them with the chase having the helmet on with the helmet being metallic as well. But either way, it's definitely a cool one. I will be planning on picking this one up. Then we got a reveal of another soda from the Lord of the Rings. This is Arwen. And the common is Arwen is just there in her alpha. And the chase is her actually holding the sword, being a little bit beat up as well. This is a great one. And we were actually lucky enough to actually pick this one up early when we found it over at Barnes & Noble. I have it right here with that winter convention sticker, which is great. And even better, we actually got the chase of her with the sword. And next we have plenty of anime pops that were announced as well, of course, as we do for every convention. And this next one is from Bleach. It is Yuki Ora. Sorry if I kind of butchered that pronunciation a little bit. I think I did a good job, but it definitely does look really good. I like how they have like the tears kind of coming down, the green paint coming down as tears, the way that they're hair and then the kind of the helmet on the left side of their head that looks super nice and they have the sword that looks like they're reaching to go draw in battle and this next figure i think is probably going to be the most sought after one out of any of them here just based on what we saw over at new york comic con when we had the luffy with going merry this one is actually luffy with the thousand sunny ship and this one actually looks really cool as well this shows that has just as much detail, if not more, than the Going Merry one. I really even love that kind of like animal that they have on the front of the ship. That one looks awesome. Next up, we have another anime one. This is Jack from Black Clover. This one has some really cool detail in it as well. I'm not too familiar with Black Clover. I know that they've been doing some different pops for that with a new wave. With that tongue out and kind of like the cut all the way down the left side of their face. That does look pretty cool. And then it looks like they have like some sort of like sharp weapons coming out of their hand. That's pretty interesting. And then he has like a green box in front of him. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this figure, but it does look pretty interesting. And next we have a My Hero Academia figure. This one is Spinner from My Hero. The figure actually does look really awesome. I love that hero suit, and especially how they have like the bandana on where their eyes are kind of reminds you of a of a tv ninja turtle a little bit I actually do really like the weapon that they have in their hand as well it looks like rocks that's like 
all different types of like sword rocks kind of jumbled together to make an even bigger weapon. That actually looks like a pretty cool one. And our last anime figure that we have is from Yu-Gi-Oh! This is the Summon Skull. And I know some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops have definitely been sought after. So I think this one's going to be another popular one as well. I really like that skeleton mold that he has on, especially with the head and the horns coming out the side. And then he even has wings on the back. This one looks like it's a pretty cool figure. And with any Funko convention, you gotta fit some Marvel figures in there somewhere, right? So this time they are coming in with another new Marvel figure. This one is Loki from the Loki TV series. It's actually President Loki with Alligator Loki biting off his hand. That was a absolutely hilarious part of the show where they go into the void where they have all the different Lokis there and then Alligator Loki comes on over and just rips off President Loki's arm and so it looks like he's in the middle of doing just that. I think this is definitely going to be a great one to add to our collection. And then the other Marvel figure we have is another Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man Bug Eyes Armor. Not a armor that you're going to see out a lot but definitely a pretty cool one. I love the different colors with the gray in the blue and then the white and the red you don't really see that sort of combination on a spider-man suit and then the way that the eyes look really makes that look like that bug eyes hence the bug eyes armor and he is in a jumping stance this is going to be another really great marvel figure and then funko is fitting in another star wars one for andor we did get an andor pop for san diego comic-con then new york comic-con and now for brazil comic-con this is one of the newer characters Vel Sartha, she does look pretty cool there with the blaster that she has in her hand. She does have a pretty cool outfit on there. She is in that Star Wars stand. Nothing too crazy though, but still another nice Star Wars figure. Next, probably my favorite figure that they announced for this convention is going to be from The Simpsons. This is Dolph Starbeam, one of the last bullies that we needed from The Simpsons. This is great. They did Nelson. Jimbo, Kearney, and now Dolph. So the whole team is now complete, and I'm definitely happy to add another Simpsons pop to the collection. And now our final figure that we're getting for Brazil Comic Con is going to be from Treasure Planet, a underrated Disney movie. This is the pop ride of Jim Hawkins. This looks like a really great and detailed one. I know Michaela is really loving this figure here. Here looks like some great detail, especially with kind of like the glider that he is on. So there's our look at the 16 different figures that are going to be announced for Brazil Comic Con. Not a ton, but it's not supposed to be that huge con. And I think you got to go something a little bit smaller, especially after coming off of San Diego Comic Con and New York Comic Con, where you release like 50 plus figures it was absolutely crazy for new york comic con way too much they got to dial it back every now and again but now right after they announced all the different figures they did release the shared exclusive list in the chart for you to see what different stores you can go to to find the different exclusives so i'll throw it up right here it looks like our win is going to be going over to barnes and noble and books a million looks like chalice collectibles is going to be getting spinner Entertainment Earth will be having the shared exclusive Hawkman Soda. FYE is going to be getting the Batman Hush. GameStop will be getting Kyoto. Hot Topic will be getting Jack from Black Clover. Amazon will be getting both Black Adam along with Raven. Target will be getting Loki and Summon Skull. And then Walmart will be getting the Bug Eyes Armor Spider-Man, the Back in Town comic cover Joker, and Jim Hawkins. And finally, Funko.com will be getting Luffy with Thousand Sunny, Vel Sartha, and also Dolph Starbeam. Now I'm gonna be interested to see how it's going to be with Luffy going straight to Funko because normally when you try to go to Funko.com for these drops, it gets a little bit hectic, the site starts to crash, and especially with a pop ride like this, it's gonna be so sought after. It might make it a little bit difficult and a lot of people are not going to be happy. I just hope it does not hurt my chances to get that Dolph. I really need that Dolph in the Funko shop. I mean, everything else I can get from the different shared retailers, but I really need that Dolph from the Funko shop. But there we have it, guys. That is everything we know so far about Brazil Comic Con CCXP 2022, otherwise known as the Winter Convention for Funko. I think we are, might be hearing a little bit more about how it's going to go, especially the time that things are going to drop and everything like that 
over the next week. So make sure you stay tuned for everything that we can find out here. We'll be going out to do a little bit of a hunt on December 2nd if we can try to find some of these pops. But guys, I do want to hear from you. What do you think about these releases for Brazil Comic Con? What do you think about the idea of Funko going international? I think it is really good actually for Funko to try to spread their brand a little bit more going to these international cons and that can only be a good thing for Funko as us Funko fans we want them to to continue to grow continue to make money and continue to pump out really cool figures for us to enjoy and I think they did a decent job with the figures they chose for this convention definitely a number of them I want to get about half of the figures for my personal collection so that's I think going to be a win in my book but let me know which figures you plan to go after on the day that they drop which of these is your favorite like i said my favorite is definitely that dolph starbeam from the simpsons as a huge simpsons fan besides that i really like that loki and i really do like the uh hawkman soda and also that hush batman going over fye that's definitely another one i'll have to pick up but let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments down below and of course if you guys have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button also, make sure to leave a like on this video as well. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have a new video drop. And also, while you're down there, go out and check out the description. We have some different links, including a link over to Vaulted Vinyl for a discount code 10% off any of the pop protectors they have in their store. That is our preferred pop protector here. And then you could also check out the link over to Whatnot, a place that you can buy and sell your own collectibles. You can actually use our link, sign up for whatnot, get $15 off your first purchase. Definitely worth checking that out down there. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.